all charged up and ready to learn about Italian-American sports heroes. Hey, George. Hi, Dawn. Welcome to the National Italian-American Sports Hall of Fame. Not only honoring Italian-Americans in sports, but contributing to various charities throughout the United States. You'll expect to see every Italian-American in every given sport from the period of 1920 all the way to today. Mario Andretti, Joe DiMaggio, Vince Lombardi, Dan Marino. To be inducted into this Hall of Fame as an Italian, is 100% Italian? No, no. Men and women, mother, father of Italian-American heritage, and what they've accomplished on and off the field. I would love to join the tour and really get to see all of this awesome stuff. Oh, I can stuff. show you the very beginning. Yeah, please. Let's go. Let's go. Tell us, how did this whole thing begin? Well, it really started to help raise money for a local charity, which was Mother Cabrini School. My uncle had a gas station, and he used to put pictures up of all boxers that were Italian, and I started collecting them. From that started the Italian-American Boxing Hall of Fame in 77, and these are the 23 world champions that showed up, and everybody thought that it was going to be a bomb. And he got over 2,000 people at that first gala. We knew that there was something special about this. The following year, when we changed the name to the National Italian American Sports Hall of Fame, and now we're here. This really gives me a taste for what is going to be in that room and on the second floor. Right, Do you think right. you can show us some of your like really favorite stuff? Right. The first item that we received in the Hall of Fame was uh, Rocky Marciano's championship belt that he won in 1952. He was the only, only undefeated heavyweight champion in the world with 49 wins. 43 knockouts. He was a real kind-hearted guy, but in the ring, he was ferocious. Huh, I mean, that's what you want in a boxer, yeah. right? I'd like to show you Matt Biondi's Olympic gold medals. It's, okay. it's the largest collection of Olympic medals that I know of in the United States. It's eight gold medals, two silver and a bronze. When he got inducted into the Hall of Fame, he called me up and he said, George, I'd like to give you all my medals. And I go, Matt, I would slow down now before you do this thing. No, I don't, want, I don't want to just sit in a bank in a vault. They need to be shown. They should be an inspiration piece for young athletes that want to strive for the very best. If they enjoy sports and they want to see some of the most incredible pieces of, of memorabilia, Vince Lombardi's playbook or or Joe Amato's dragster. Your stories make me so like impassioned to keep looking around. I'd love to like take a little time okay. to go all around the first right. floor and the second floor, but I want to thank you so okay. much for all that you do here. It's quite clear that this is even beyond sports, that it really is about celebrating heritage, whatever heritage you are, Italian or beyond, and the family values that come along with it. Mm -hmm.